<laughs> or oh, one no. dread, si dread steed sized duck. Uh, I think I'll pick the the one duck sized dread steed. Uh, yeah. The 40 duck sized dread steeds. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Oh, it's death by a thousand cuts. Oh, look at that sweater. That is classy. classy. Damn. Whew. I'm All liking right. that already. <laughs> to the gameplay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, never mind. That's the game plan. Oh, I'm talking rice about. in a sweater. That's looking good. 21 pilots on the left, and somebody's out of the frame, but that's fine. Yeah. There's always somebody who's kind of out of the frame. Yeah. Well, it looks like uh, they decided to stick with the handlock, and Arkansas is going to stick with the druid, so North Carolina putting their handlock into another pretty tough matchup. Yeah, they'll, they, I think overall it's still winnable. It's just very difficult if the druid starts with good ramp. Uh, one of the clunky things as well is if you're the first player. And they play Aspirant, oh and you have Dark Bomb, you can't tap on three. You have to literally spend your turn killing it. Um, in this hmm. case, it doesn't matter too much, because they don't have the Dark Bomb option, which yeah. is even worse. Uh, but it's it's one of those tricky turns to navigate. Yeah. For sure. Oh, and well. Not having a way to answer Darnassus' Aspirant on turn two is, you know, pretty rough. I mean, you could silence it. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> MLG! <laughs> MLG is right here with us. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Let me just use two mana to give my opponent a mana crystal. I don't think that's happening. Alright, so he does have, you know, the. There, there is the, the Void Caller ready to bring out Malganus or Jaraxxus immediately. Mm -hmm. And a Jaraxxus taunted up against uh, a Druid is a lot of work. So if that comes out, I think there's a good chance that that's possibly the best outcome. There's a lot of depth to this turn, though, because. Yeah. So um, with the, the amount of cards Arkansas has, the likelihood that they have Keep the Grove is actually pretty high. Yeah. So you're thinking in your head, which one would I rather have silenced? And it's a really tough situation to make because Twilight Drake will get traded into um, by the Darnassus Aspirant, whereas Void Caller will only get triggered into, uh, traded into by um, like the Twilight Drake. Or sorry, the Azure Drake. Right. Um, but the Void Caller has a stronger effect if it's not silenced, yeah. but I think overall you're trade. kind of okay if the Drake trades with the Aspire. Yeah. Because that's like one mana crystal negated. Yeah, exactly. So, like, you're happy to put them in a spot where they just, unless they have the Innervate, uh, they can't really deal with the Drake effectively yet. If you wait one yeah. turn, then they can. Yeah. So, this means they value the effect of the Void Caller over, you know, definitely the long lasting board presence of the Twilight Drake, which I tend to agree with. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's the right move. I must safeguard the law. And the trade will be made, which means uh, Team Arkansas is down to five mana again next turn. So no, no completely overpowered shenanigans coming from them. Yeah. Now they have the option to play Void Caller or to tap and play Mountain Giant. They tap to play Mountain Giant, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant not surprise. Yeah. What do you play though? Because the safe play seems like it would be Void Caller, considering the demons you've got in so hand. Either of them is good. If it's Malganus, the BGH is used, and then you can play Mountain. Yeah. Um, but it's all about whether or not you think there's immediate danger to your life. Like, are you able to stay in the game uh, if things go wrong? And maybe if you've got a Sun Fury with Void Caller, if your giant gets damaged, uh, you're feeling kind of safe. If it gets killed by yeah. uh, BGH. Well, they go for the Mountain Giant. But boy, are they gonna be sad. I mean, I kind of like, I completely agree why uh, with them on that play, I think. Just because BGH out means Malganus trades. So if the Void card falls down now with Sun Fury, then maybe you're okay. How do they even live from this point? Hellfire is the only thing that could save them. But and Hellfire only clears two creatures exactly, off the board yeah. and does three damage to them. They don't even have Moltens. That's not looking very good for North Carolina here. It looks like it's going to be Ancient Watcher. I don't even know. I mean, Dark Bomb, the BGH, Ancient Watcher, and Sun Fury. Yeah, but... I think they're... Are they still dead if that happens? Uh, uh, so, Savage yeah. Roar, Hero Power, Power, Wrath. That's going all face, because the Wrath with spell damage will kill the Watcher. With the Hero Power, so... Well, the, the, the extra Savage Roar damage wouldn't, but all the minion damage would go face. So 8 plus 6, 14, yeah? Yeah, that's it. We'll see exactly if North Carolina is going to opt for maybe the more like defensive play, I feel, which would be maybe like a, a risky play of Void Caller with Malganus trying to get it out. Nah, they're not going to be too risky. They're going to try, but unfortunately for them, Arkansas has pretty much all they need at this point. Yeah. The lack of answer to the Aspirant early really, uh, really hurt them. They can even use the Wrath to draw a card. 
and still have lethal. Incredible. And it looks like, judging by this line of play, they are going to spot it. They don't look too convinced, though. And it's one of, might be one of those situations where they're like, I can't count that high. Just go for it. <laughs> I've done that with Patreon more times than I have. Yeah, yeah. I care to admit, I'm like, this looks like lethal. I close my eyes for a second, and I like <laughs> squint enough right. to just see his portrait and look at the skull. I'm like, yes. Yeah, I feel like uh, it happens way too often when I play the game. Look, that's what he's doing. Yeah, he's like, I don't want to see this. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Yep. Oh, looks up, and he's like, okay, that's a loss. All right, Arkansas takes a 2-1 to -one lead.